The St. Francis Red Flash set to host the Duquesne Dukes this past Saturday under the lights at the newly renovated golf field. The first time St. Francis has ever hosted a night football game. Both of these teams coming in looking for a crucial Northeast Conference win. After a scoreless first quarter, the Red Flash started moving the ball on the ground. Here's Omar Winston, a receiver, taking this ball 20 plus yards down into scoring position for the Red Flash. And Timmy Myers. The freshman quarterback from Evansburg making his first career start in place of an injured John Kelly dives into the end zone for his first career touchdown. Myers was the quarterback of the JV team last week getting his first start. He had a lot of help though, especially with the running back situation. Jude Yearwood, the junior running back from Maryland, the Northeast Conference Player of the Week, taking this ball 65 yards all the way down to the one yard line. Yearwood would average 7.3 yards per carry in this contest. On the very next play, Yearwood would again get the call. Myers to Yearwood at the one who would plunge into the end zone. Yearwood getting his first touchdown of the game, making the score 14 to nothing. Backup running back Kyle Harbridge decides that he wants to get in on the show as well. Myers hands it off to Harbridge, and Harbridge finds a seam along the left tackle and takes this one 60 plus yards he did not score on this play, and the Red Flash were forced to settle for a field goal, but it would put them up 17 to nothing. Here's a little love for the defense now as quarterback Kevin Rombach throws off to the side, and look at Scott Lewis, the linebacker, folding the receiver in half with the big hit, forcing the incompletion. It wouldn't be the only defensive highlight of the game. Rombach going deep, but he's throwing into double coverage. The Red Flash have one of the best secondaries in the conference, and that's why Terrence Long picking that one off for his Northeast Conference leading fifth interception of the year. The Red Flash would make Duquesne pay again. Now the pitch back to Harbridge. Harbridge gets one seam, and he is gone. His second 60-plus yard run of the game. How did he get so open? He scored a touchdown on that play, but who sprung him? But Antoine Rivera, the receiver, coming in from the right side of the field, lighting up safety Willie Milhouse and putting the Red Flash on the board. And now here, one of the most impressive athletic plays of the night. Red Flash up 24 to six. Tim Myers hands off to running back Calvin Williams who jumps over the pile and extends into the end zone, putting the Red Flash up 31 to six. Duquesne would score another touchdown and get the two point conversion, but they would not collect the onside kick and they would fall to the Red Flash 31 to 14. The Red Flash take their first Northeast Conference victory of the season and the fireworks display puts the cherry on top of the evening.